What's going on you guys? This is your boy RVG aka The Random Black Gamer bringing you a reaction for Transformers 1 the official trailer. Yes, it is high time that we jump into Cybertron. I originally planned on getting this thing out a lot sooner, but for whatever reason Paramount thought it would be a genius idea to hit us with that okie doke, that bait and switch by literally launching a trailer in space as their title implied. I don't think they're in the best position to be doing things like that, especially when it comes to the fandom that's been let or let down so many times with these films. I just think they need to keep their heads low and just put out something that's going to reassure us that we're going to be back in full effect and we're going to get that Transformers greatness. I have no idea what this trailer is going to entail, but hopefully it showcases not only awesome animation, but stellar voice performances done by this new cast, which for the most part is going to be sold on that particular aspect because it has big names like Chris Hemsworth and Scarlett Johansson and Brian Tyree Henry as Optimus Prime or Orion Pax, uh, Alita One and Megatron respectively. So I don't know what to expect man but hopefully it's good because based on the thumbnail it looks like we're in good hands. It looks like we back. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this and see what they're talking about because I am ready. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, what is up, Transformers fans? All right, man. We got three minutes. Like, please don't let it just be most of them talking. Drop it, please. Get this MCU shit out of here. The Transformers <laughs> one trailer starts now. All right. Ooh. So, how long do you think we'll be here? It looks good. Yeah, this looks better than I expected. Hi there, I'm B127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron. 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 Nice. Um, we're gonna call you B. Okay, so it's as the leak suggested. Yeah, he was. Look at the scrapes in detail. There's a reason no one calls to the surface. That looks like Megatronus. Why'd you bring jetpacks? We survived this! I'm gonna kill you! I accept those turns. Okay. Cybertron looks beautiful. Oh snap, here we go with the commercialized music. <laughs> Pure beauty. <laughs> you have proven yourself worthy. Take me. Oh, it's Alpha Trion. Your full potential. The Cogs. Okay, transformation cogs. Here we go! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. So he does look like Fortnite B. Okay, cool. Or see, uh, okay, she got the motorcycle. Lita won. Who's that? Okay, Starscream. <laughs> yeah. God, why does B look so gold? These are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? He just wanted to. No, it was already like that. Right? Yes, that's right. It was. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was the official trailer for Transformers 1. And I have to say, I am thoroughly 
like impressed right now. I'm fairly uh, surprised at how good it actually looks like. I was expecting it to look more along the lines of something from Pixar because people kept saying that it was very goofy in the way that the aesthetics were. But based on what I've seen, this looks very much akin to what we've been seeing from other Transformers properties, particularly the movies, which I'm very surprised on because the movies usually have a very detailed and intricate design. Um, schematic but this one right here is not too far off from that um and like like i said guys if they were going to do a movie that takes place completely on cybertron it was going to have to be fully cgi so if they were going to do that they had to kind of like dial it down in terms of super detailed hyper realistic uh cgi because that was going to be expensive and I think this right here is the perfect amalgamation of the things that we love about Transformers. It has like the more, um, the faces look more akin to something that we've seen from Transformers Prime and even Earth Spark. Um, and the overall bodies and scale of the world is something more tailored towards what we saw in something like Bumblebee. Um, in terms of the voice acting, the voice acting is as it was suggested it to be. Like people that have uh, been able to attend CinemaCon, they said that yeah, they were surprised at how well Chris Hemsworth pretty much melted into this role of Orion Pax. He doesn't necessarily sound anything like Chris Hemsworth, especially if you didn't know that it that was him. You know, if you were just coming in with a blind eye and you haven't been paying attention to any other news surrounding the movie, you would just be like, yeah, that guy sounds like Peter Cullen or like he's doing a good Peter Cullen impression. But you wouldn't be able to put two and two together that that was Chris Hemsworth or um, the mighty Thor. Um, Brian Tyree Henry is the one that kind of, you know, stands out to me, but I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because Megatron, you know, we've come to hear his voice in so many different ways. You know, you have that fan base that loves Hugo Wiggins portrayal on the character, but the most synonymous voice that goes with him is Frank Welker. And this one right here sounds totally different from what we've heard in any kind of iteration of Transformers. But I think him being um, very expressive and not speaking with like a form of soliloquy and uh, authority kind of lends itself to the whole buddy kind of comedy uh, thing that we're going to see with them. Two guys, they're going to be the best of friends, but somewhere along the line, politics are going to come into play. It's already been shown in this trailer. It's already alluded to that classism is going to be a major element where the oppressed or the, the lower class characters get looked down upon by the hierarchy or this higher class of characters. And if you read the Transformers comics, you already know that classism isn't the word to use when it comes to this. It's more so functionism, where characters get put in certain roles based on their functions or what they can transform into. And I like how we're going to explore that, you know, that element as well, like with transforming um, you can see that they have the transformation cogs that were given to them by Alpha Trion, who looks very good. It looks like uh, what the leaks describe him to be a very aged and weathered character where you can see like um, foliage going all on his joints and stuff to really emphasize that, yeah, he's one of the older Cybertronians, you know, but yeah he's giving them the transformation cog and we're gonna see them gradually change into the characters we know them to be as the movie progresses you know um alita one i feel like they should have named her ariel like in the original g1 material it would have made more sense that way and then she becomes alita one but you know the other characters such as orion pax megatron and b217 or b127 they are gonna eventually gain their monikers by the time you know things come to a close in this movie cybertron looks really good though man like that's the thing that i am going to enjoy seeing the most because like i've said just as much as these guys are characters cybertron is its own character and they really need to show that they need to show that this thing literally is a living sentient planet that's full of all the different surprises you know like i think the core audience of Transformers fans have kind of witnessed that over and over again, but there's still a audience at large consisting of a lot of casuals that don't realize how cool Cybertron can be. You know, it's similar to Earth in a lot of ways, but it has its own things too. You know, they have 
the Energon bars. You have like certain classes of characters that started off very rich, you know, like uh, Blur, who was a Velocitronian, a racer that all he does is race. So yeah, I really want to see those things, man. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Be on the lookout for my breakdown on this trailer because there's a lot to de like just dig into and you know discover within all the things they showed us. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. As always, I ask you to like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up. It can be a thumbs down. But if you really enjoyed this video and you want to help your boy out, be sure to share it with all your friends and family members on all the different social media outlets. Sharing is caring. Well, once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. You